I was brought up in Detroit in a very mixed neighborhood. When I was going to school, the class president was black. And then all of a sudden I moved to uh, South Florida where there was still segregation. The first day I went to school, I got on the bus and he said, you know, all blacks go to the back of the bus and you know, you kind of shake your head. I mean, you heard about it, but till you see it and live it. Having just moved there, I was like 15 years old, you know, that has an impression upon you. You know, we live in a country that you want to see made greater, and race has always been one thing in my mind that's always held this country back. And most people don't even want to talk about it and think it doesn't exist, but it's always there. I mean, when you've seen the difference and you grew up seeing the difference, you really understand that a lot more, and, and you see the problems that our country has. And I think if we could eliminate racial discrimination, we'd be so much greater as a nation. I own the Miami Dolphins. Being an owner of a sports team, there's a new responsibility to society. And I could either bury my head in the sand or say, hey, I should do something and I'm in a position to do something. How do you use sports to create change? That's the basis of RISE, because it's the one kind of common denominator amongst everybody. There's no place that we can really look to in our society where there's more equality than in sports. Great athletes, no matter what age, a role model. So how do we really use all those things to do something to create change, eliminate the racial discrimination that does exist in our country? We're looking for equal opportunity, you know, equal education, and being able to compete. Everybody being able to compete, not just a few.